What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more DayZ. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's play. Coast is clear. Did anybody? Nope. All right. So let's keep on keeping on. Storm is over. The sun is risen. Dawn of a new day. New day for traveling. Right. All right. I always take the heel side here when in this town. I don't just go. I don't go through the middle of the town and cut to, to the road. I took the heel side till we get to the road and then go on up. I feel like it's bad that way. But it's still, you still want to be alert because people come through the woods too. I've gotten taken out that way. I was in the middle of the forest, swapping my inventory, organizing my inventory. Dude came out from the, the, the darn vegetation to destroy me. And I think it was like the first or second season when that happened. Or was I streaming? I can't even remember. I think it was one of the episodes. Screw up my inventory and uh, dude came out the woodwork. Fuck, it took me out. I couldn't even do anything. I mean, he was quick too. So I was beyond guard. Just want to keep on keeping on here. Sometimes there's a heli spawn over there. Time to helicopter wreck her. And sometimes this town would be a gas zone. Good loot. And then uh, up there, there's the, the car wreckage. And then past the car wreckage, there's the... Uh, what's the name? Military base. That used to be my final stop. Then I turn back around, go right back up the coast. That's how I learned the coast. So if you want to learn the map, start at the coast. Learn all the... Uh, Goofs and gaffs and tricks and tricks, all the hidden. If any, you know, ain't really hidden on the coast. What are you? What's hidden on the beach? <laughs> you know, a bunch of overturned canoes and canned food, fishing rods, fishing gear. It's about as good as you're gonna get. But yeah, so we're gonna head up this way. Head to Ben Rehobit. See what I can find. See if I can find a Vega. If I find a Vega, I'll switch that with the shotgun. That way we can kind of level the playing field with the fire with the, with the fire rate, and then with a shotgun too. That thing shreds. So much so they actually clear out a squad, especially if they're all grouped together. You do have a chance. Yes, you have a chance to clear out a squad with a Vega. That shotgun is just insane. Let alone turn that one person into Swiss cheese. Probably my favorite shotgun in the whole game. Out of all of them. I have to choose the Vega. Vega. How do you pronounce it? I call it the Vega, but I think it's a Vega. It's a bit foggy. Can't really see out to the distance that well. But pretty nonetheless. Up oh, gas. It seems like the gas is always over there now. That's another military base over there. Always gassed up. Last time I came through here, I had heard, I heard freaking gunshots. But I'm not trying to be a curious kitten. Keep on keeping on. Stay warm, stay warm, kids. 
You don't want your character getting sick out here. Let's see. This town's always gassed up. This road's gonna cut, cut up that way. I can't even tell you the last time I've been in that, that base. Our base is in the middle of the woods. I think we should have boats, but I understand why. Because it's like we don't use anybody really out in the water that often to really utilize boats. And there's no like big canal, 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 or whatever, river or whatever that cuts through the map that would be that would utilize boat usage. We got a big ocean on the edge near the coast. Go out there, fish, come on back. But not really utilizing that to the fullest potential other than just on the coast, out in the middle of nowhere, and they're trying to fish. I don't see anything. Tempting. I feel that gas to catch me. And there's no cure. Piss me off if doggone bomb dropped right on my darn head. That one episode. That is so that was so stupid. What are the odds? And it, it drops right back there where I was at the base. That you cannot prepare for. That you cannot defend against. Let's show in a hazmat suit, which I did. So my character got chemical poisoning and fucking dropped dead. Presto change out, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like this, mm -hmm. nope. We switch right something like this. We, we we need an automatic weapon. I take my chances with the shotgun. This fire rate's too freaking janky. Fire rate and the reload time is freaking janky, but it makes up for that. And stopping power is so powerful. Like one hit, I just down that zombie. I wouldn't even hit shot. One hit. Yeah, you basically got infinite ammo. Look at all these trees. That's how you would make your bolt. Trees, anything? Trees are up. Plum. I'm gonna tell you. Look at that. Food. Food. Clutch hammer. Nah, I'd rather have a bladed weapon plus an ore. I'd rather have a freaking pickaxe. If I found a pickaxe, I'd probably drop. Probably drop the shotgun. Take my chances. I'm trying to find a Vega. But the next military town is like just right up the road there. Oh yeah, just right up the road there. It's still a little ways, but it's the next uh, town, city. There have been times where I found a Vega there, so it's not like it's, it's a rare gun, yes, but it's not like it's, it's not gonna spawn, because more than likely it will. Hasn't always spawned there. But if I haven't found it there, I found it somewhere else. Simple as that. So far, 
far so good. It looked like somebody was in that fudged window. Sometimes it gets so bad. Sometimes your minds play tricks on you in this game. Huh? Thought something was in that window. It wasn't. Sometimes you think a zombie, would be, uh, one of the infected, is is a human player, and they're not. Because the way they're moving and they look, the way they look, it was another player. You'd be ready to engage in a few people, and that's just not the case at all. Wonder if somebody been here. Makes you wonder. When you go into like an empty house, look like it's nothing. I mean, nothing there. Look like it may have been picked clean. It's somebody picking clean. And I'll say some seventy percent of the time, yeah. It's the dog on player account that went up in the server. The chance we may encounter one of the twenty-one people, like we encountered one of the fifteen. Blood's literally pouring. What the? F Bandage that wound. He had matches on her. I missed. But where'd he go? Maybe the distance don't suck. Maybe I just suck at aiming. Grass. That's a. That's a. Somebody's got guns all spawn in the middle of the road. That's a, a zombie run. Okay, we're good. If it was a player though, I probably would just kept on running this way. Cause I mean, we're far enough away that unless he had a scope, he he wouldn't see us. Life. Sound like somebody breathing, but if they were that close, it was, we'd see him because it's wide open. All right, so we're going to check out this uh, military town up the road here. Let's see what we see. Ain't no rest for the weary, right? I, mean, I took a wrong turn somewhere and got picked off one season looking for that town. I 
there's another airfield too. It's like in the northeast part of the, you know, I'm talking north, northeast part of the map. Sometimes you spawn near there if you're lucky. I feel like that airfield is not as popular as the one we're headed to. I always say the one we're headed to is like the most dangerous area in the map. You survive that, you can survive anything. But however, the dangers aren't always lurking. Like it's the most dangerous part of the point of the map, but sometimes don't don't nobody be there. If someone's there, they don't see you. They don't see you. You don't see them. For the most part. But I'm going to say any area is going to be the most dangerous area of the map. Any area with a uh, military base. Yep. Why? Because that's where all the players rush to to get good loot. When they, you know, they loot up at a police station, loot up random weapons sometimes, but they always make their way to a military base because they know they can get better gear. And nine times out of ten, they're correct. Set up. No, that's just open grass now. Well, there's a pond over there. I never knew that. So we're going to cut down, cut across here. Normally, sometimes I cut go through that parking lot and then cut. I'm going to cut across and go around. See if we can find a Vega. for it and everything. And keep shooting. Player dropped that. I don't know if he put that in the middle of the road. Don't even put that there. Because that's damn put down loot just to get, catch somebody. Like a form as a, like a booby trap. Just damn put that bad boy down and laser you as you, when you go to spin down and pick it up. And now get that gun back and your loot. Gun back and plus you. I don't see nothing. So far so good. Vicar. She's a nine by thirty nine. That's what's right here. No, it's forty five. I ain't never seen that one. I don't know if that's a new firearm or what. Five by forty-five. Five by forty-five. I think five by thirty. Is it five by forty or five by thirty-nine? It goes in the AK. Raven sights. Hey okay, zombie! I thought that was a woo. What did I say? Uh oh! About to alert the whole map. About to be a gunfight. I do that because I, I ain't even trying to give them the chance to turn around and take me down. That's if so he doesn't see me, let me turn around. But he said, well, "Hey, what is that?" He might hear you, and then catch you in the back, catch you from behind, and it's all over, right?
jungle boots. I think the assault boots are the ones with the knife. Oh, so I always get it mixed up. Let's see. up kidding me all right no, I think I didn't use the, the leather, leather kit doing that it's a flashlight a flashlight FX forty five. Oh God! Shut up! It's gonna attract too much attention. Yeah, fresh comment. Oh. We start in 60 minutes. Like after this episode, I'm going to call it a day anyway. That'll restart. Pistol suppressor. VSS. Nope. Come on, man. Give me something. Hunter boots. Assault K74. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Frag grenade. Bomber jacket. What a knife. Just in case we encounter like a group. Oh, I thought I saw somebody over there. I was trying to peer the camera over the wall because you can't like they fix that where you stand behind the wall and kinda like angle the camera. You can't do it no more. You can't cheat. See? It'll do this. Every time. But you can't cheat and do that anymore. But they that was been like that for a year, years now. They fixed it a long time ago. Okay, here comes the darn rain. Okay, we just got to try our luck elsewhere. Ooh. Field vest. Tactical shirt. Leather kit and the and the sewing kit. Stab vest is in stab vest is in better condition than the darn field vest is. They said they took it. You're not gonna be finding a lot of pristine clothes anymore, like you used to. I used, 
mean, you used to find a lot of stuff pristine. I said, nope, make it more realistic. The stuff get weather beat. So they say my, my stuff now is going to be like in the damaged, badly damaged, and ruined. More so than pristine. That makes sense because things it, it will get ruined sitting out. And you do that and you like, you sit out and that stuff get weather beat. It's going to get ruined. Of course. here and then cut across that's how you avoid that see see what I mean that's how you preserve your clothing avoid contact as much as possible and obviously you can't always avoid it but it seems like 80% of the time you can but there's a small 20% and so be it again push and coming to shoving you'll be prepared Don't knock the crossbow, because again, get them true. That's all ammo. Versus having to risk your life looting police stations, looking for shells for the shotgun. Maybe you might find one in something like here, right? Sometimes you'll find it in here. Sometimes you'll find it in the house or something like that. It's more than just police stations, like the concrete for sure spot where you're gonna find shells, right? Station, but I'm going to cut across to here. I'm not going to go there. Across the street here. Check these guard shacks. It's getting dark because it's sto about the storm. 9 by 19. So that vector takes that 9 by 39. I'm armor piercing. That's armor piercing rounds, I think, in this game. Or a variant of 9x39. If I remember correctly, it's armor piercing. I'm crazy. I'm going to see if I can find some tetracycline. Hotel. Take the hold up in. Hunker down. Out in the middle of the street. Don't worry, we got something for us. She aggroes, guys. Oh my god, come on, give me a break. Take the chance of her ad growing. Let's see if we can find some tension. If I can find it here, I'll just load it up here and then go turn around. Sometimes you don't even have to go into the hospital. You just find it. Medical supply spawns and spots and houses near. Jacket in the pants. Tempting. We can go in gas zones. Oh, there it is. We don't even need to go. I keep my uh. My food and stuff high, so we, we don't even really need to. I got enough bandages. That's all I was really looking for. Six pills should, is, it should be good enough to suffice just in case we get sick. And if I wanted to, I... Mm, shoot. Nah. We'll just keep on keeping on. I'll say if I want to. I let, you know, the uh, EpiPen. But it's good to have, yes. You got infinite stamina, but it's not like a necessity to me. does have its place though nothing in this game is really useless I, I I've um I've kind of figured out it just more so does it suit your play style is it useful to you right it may not be useful to you because someone else could always use it Nothing's really ever useless. They just think that like, can opens are useless. You got the knives and blah, blah, blah. I can open it with the knife. I can open 
cans with the, the, the even with a sledgehammer. What's, what's the point in the can opener? Blah, blah 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 blah. Actually, the can opener is the best tool to open canned food because you will oh it will give you a hundred percent of the food. It, you won't pulverize it by using a knife. Even with a knife, you, you lose a portion. What difference does it make? Oh, it makes all the difference. Because you want 100% of your food. You want to be full, fully fed. You don't want no half-ass food. And you, you, your character's dying of hunger. You want 100% every time. Should I get these cargo pants and then take my chance? Medium insulation. This is probably high insulation. Still as damaged. I'll get these damaged and, and look for... Uh, for a sewing kit. Right, so I got the cargoes. I'm gonna look to see if there's any other ammo that you can make with this crossbow. To go with this crossbow. What's in here? Nothing. More food. Don't just survive, thrive, people. I don't need that to have a pot full of water. Pot's versatile. I'll use both. Drink it from it and cook from it. The water's pure as it's been boiled. I wonder can you purify water that way? I'm boiling it. Boy, I, I bet uh, this is like the ultimate stealth weapon right here. The ultimate stealth weapon. An infinite freaking ammo available. I ain't gonna say infinite ammo. It does obviously you run out, but you got it's inf it's infinite ammo available to you, and it's easier to find as, as there are trees literally all over the map in front of you. You, just, you have to cut them down. You have four sticks, and that's that. That yes, that leaves you vulnerable. But hey, you're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit sometime at some point somewhere in this game. You can't have it easy all the time. You have to take risk. And to be honest with you. Most of the time, you'll be okay. Most of the time. Not all the time. Don't take it and run with it. Most of the time, you'll be okay like this. I just, nothing happened when I was for making ammo for this. Nothing happened when I just grabbed and loaded the gun out there and was creeping around in the garages. You're going to be okay most of the time. But, still, keep your guard up, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I'm going to wait out this storm. If you enjoyed this episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.